Welcome to our science class, third quarter module one, week one. Are you excited for a fun learning session? Make sure you have the following before we start. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to 1. Explain how to get to the distance between two objects in motion. 2. Explain how to compute the speed of an object. 3. Solve simple problems on computing the speed of object in motion. In this lesson, we will learn about the speed, distance and time and how to compute and solve simple problems for the speed of an object in motion. But before we go on to our discussion let's try to answer this activity. Directions Put a check if the following objects are in motion and cross if it is not. Now let's proceed to activity 1. Read the dialogue below and answer the given questions. Grade 5 pupils are having conversation about their science lesson. They talk about speed, time, distance and the standard unit of measurement used. Let's answer the given questions. Question number 1. What are the pupils' topic in their conversation? Answer Speed, distance and time Question number 2 How can we distinguish the speed, time and distance? Answer Through their symbols or units such as meter for distance, second for time and meter per second for speed. Question number 3 Name some tools used in measuring distance. Answer. Rulers, meter stick, tape measure, measuring wheel and etc. Question number 4. What is the standard unit of measurement used for distance? Answer. Meter. Question number 5. A boy walked from school that is 3 kilometers away from his home. How many meters was he able to walk? Answer. 3,000 meters. Let us know the meaning of motion. Motion is the movement of an object or a person. It is movement from one position to another. Position is the reference which the object can be located. One can tell whether an object has moved or not through a reference point. While the speed measures how fast the object's motion is, it can be measured in meters per second. It can also be measured in kilometers per hour. Let's define time. Time is measures how long an object travels in a distance. The faster the speed, the shorter the time spent to travel. The lower the speed, the longer the time spent to travel. What's the meaning of metric system? The standard unit of measurement used for distance or length is meter. You just add the prefix kilo when you are referring to distance which is very far. Prefixes like deci, centi and milli are used if the length is very short. By the conversation, we can get the following values used in the metric system of measurement. 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. 1 meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters and 1 meter is equivalent to 1,000 millimeters. What's the meaning of speed? Is used when the speed of an object can change from one instance to another. It is the distance covered by an object divided by the time it takes to travel that distance. Speed can 5 be calculated by dividing the distance covered by an object motion by the time spent to cover the distance. This can be expressed as speed is equal to distance divided by time. Since speed, distance and time are all related we can calculate distance and times by the simple arrangement of the formula. 
To find time, we need to divide distance by speed or time is equal to distance divided by speed. To find the distance, we need to multiply speed by time or distance is equal to speed multiple by time. Let's check this conversions. Unit of time. 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. 1 day is equal to 24 hours. 1 week is equal to 7 days. 1 month is equal to 4 weeks. 1 year is equal to 12 months. 4 metric conversion we have. 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. 1 kilometers is equal to 1000 meters. The standard conversions we have 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. 1 yard is equal to 3 feet. 1 yard is equal to 36 inches. 1 mile is equal to 1760 yards. Let's try to answer this example number 1. If the car travels 100 kilometers in 2 hours, find the average speed. Now let's use the DST triangle. We are looking for the speed so just cover the speed or the letter S. So the formula in finding speed is, speed is equal to D over T. Now let's replace the value of D and T. The value of D is 100 kilometers and the time is 2 hours and that would be 100 over 2. So 100 divided by 2 is equal to 50. What is the unit that we need to use? Since we're looking for the speed, in order for us to know what unit will be used just look back again on the word problem. What did I get today's lesson? We learned that motion is a change in position with the respect to a reference point. Speed is the distance traveled by an object over a period of time. We learned also the distance is measure of how far or near to points are from one another. And don't forget that the standard unit of measurement used for distance or length is called meter. Lastly we also learned that distance is measured by using tools such as meter stick, tape measure, measuring wheel and ultrasonic distance measurer. Now let's answer this activity what can I show? Directions, fill out the table below. Let's try to answer this activity what am I good at? Directions, write the letter of the correct answer before each number. Let's check your answers. Let's answer this activity. How's my target now? Directions, write the letter of the best answer before each number. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe.